Hupper Show. So welcome everybody to the Hupper Show. I'm, I'm seminally back. Um, and this is a kind of crossover link between the Mini Matters podcast and the Hupper Show. But most importantly, it's, it's actually the journey part of our podcast. And so in our podcast, we have many segments. And one of those segments, which is actually probably the, the key point of why we started the podcast, at least podcast with myself, in fact, hello now. thanks for joining us. Good evening. Uh, and Lionel. And um, so this was, yeah, the key point of us, of why we kind of wanted to start it afresh on, on Spotify, which is where we're at now, and, and with the Discord. And, and the journey was kind of our key reason, which for us at that time was we both wanted to do a lot more army painting because we were playing a lot of Warhammer. Obviously, I moved, blah, blah, blah. But so we have the journey and, and hopefully everybody on the Discord who listens to our podcast or not has a journey. I think not everyone does, but most people do. So this series that we're going to do on the Hubba Show basically is interviews with people from the pod, the Discord and their journeys. And our now's journey, uh, obviously the army painting we've spoken about, but is a little bit more nice and I wouldn't call it abstract, but it's the journey of how we became, in a way, a professional painter. I don't think the how, more like the journey of the models and the progression and stuff like that, I think. Yeah, it's more the journey of my painting, my painting journey. And I think it's tied together the... the um, I started painting armies because I wanted to play, I wanted to collect armies of Warhammer. And then this developed into a, into a hobby, into a job, and then... My journey is now at a point where I do the job, but I also do the armies. So I think it has these ups and downs, and I think that's what I'm, I wanted to to show with the pictures. These ups and downs, how I started with with my figures, how was my painting level, of course, and and what I don't know, a bit of a overview of all these um, things times where I was just more into display more into uh, armies and stuff like that and where do you think you are now if you had to define it maybe that's a question in faster race cup ago uh well may we will probably see it when we uh, mm. see the the whole journey or myself yeah. even i think i'm at a point where i i understood what army painting is and i understood that it doesn't um, I can paint in a lower level that that my highest level, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, we so, went through this. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You you don't need that. That was something that I. It took me decades to <laughs> to understand uh, how my ego shouldn't be in the middle of painting uh, armies. Mm -hmm. So I never had an army. Uh, well, no, like in the in the last few years, like in the last ten years. I never had an army because I was not. Uh, I, I was afraid a, a little bit to not have an army at my full level. Mm. So uh, that that was a that was a you know a shackle that didn't let me do this thing that I love. When when my ego just went away in this in this matter, then I, I was able to just do a very quick army um fun just you know that's what but you're doing well, now we will see yeah i was gonna say I mean, yeah yeah, yeah in a way so we've got segments uh and they are lionel came up with these names origin story it's obviously what we've started ultimate goal and i don't quite know yet where like do we bash these out i think we go through these linearly uh but then we also yeah. have the photos to go through and then we have the the pride and progress and then we have i, I realize when you when you do those things really i should have done a comma and not done the end but i thought that was the last one anyway then we have the future forays like where you're going with it but then inside that we can we can dive in a little bit more so um, mm -hmm. I guess I'll also say that, yeah, we're going to do these with, with everybody who has volunteered in the discourse. So I think we've, at the moment, we've got about seven people that we're going to do. Obviously you, and then obviously me. Um, and I must say, I'm quite excited to, 
because we're on the Discord just for full, like, this is like an origin story, effectively, isn't it? We're, we're on the Discord, and we, it's blown our mind with how many people are on it now. And I think we've got 70, um, which is far exceeded my expectations of what, I honestly thought it'd be us three. Um, and then maybe like one or two who were like, and they'll be like, how did you even find us? But anyway. That they are lost <laughs> looking for <laughs> the exit. I don't even know what. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's probably true. Um, so I was like, we're getting lots of posts and a lot of people sharing stuff. But I realized I wasn't, I wasn't, it, it, I wasn't committed to their journey and people would talk about their journey. Like we tried to do a thing where everyone would like write down their journey so we could try and read it, but it gets lost and obviously. So I think in theory, we might do these to catch up with people's journey when they've had a big progression. Like, yeah. so everyone's that we're doing, the guys are like their origin stories. And I think I'm, I'm really excited to actually see these people as humans rather than just text on a screen that they share. And then, and then once I know their journey, I hope that it means that when they share something, I'll, I'll, I'll be able to relate to it more. And so I think yeah. the, the main reason why I'm explaining that is because I think your journey is slightly different from everyone else's. It might or might not be because the people or the, yeah, the people that we interview or whatever you want to call it, they're the ones who dictate what we do in the show. So I'm kind of saying this so mm -hmm. when they watch that, they'll also be like, there's no formula or, or template for this. Like we've got our questions. Yeah. We've got the fastest race car, which is the only jingle segment we're doing. Um, and it's kind of whatever your journey is, is what the video will be. But I'm, I mean, that's the wrong time to do that because it wasn't a quick joke. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> but it felt like it was more like, I don't think I've ever spoken that long with a meaning. Do you know what I mean? Well, maybe <laughs> uh, like that felt like, like that felt amazing. Concise. Yeah, that felt like I've I've turned a new book. <laughs> I was laughing at my phrase there because uh, I don't think that's a saying, but whatever. Because you don't turn books. So, ah, uh, now origin story. If we could, please describe your first ever project and compare it don't compare it to your latest work because we're going through your Linda journey. So this is, give us your origin story. Well, I, I'll use the picture in the, in the screen to... Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I was I was saying that I will use the, the picture on the screen to summarize at the, my start, I guess. Um, I started painting Warhammer uh, as any other kid. I was, a, uh, I don't know, maybe 12 year old or 13 year old. And I was into Warhammer fantasy. I always liked better at the, like the setting. I liked better the swords and shields uh, instead of guns. Mm -hmm. And I think my one of my first armies was Chaos. Uh, it looks yeah, like uh, it. Well, the, not... Yeah, Norgal, Norgal Chaos. And this is one of the first units I did. I had I had others, and I had also Warhammer 40k. But I think this is one of the first ones that I remember. Like a full unit, and I had a few of them. Like what? I had some barbarians and some stuff. When did you take this photo? Like, why has it got the white background? As a kid, you took that? I think so. Yeah. How would you know? I don't remember... I, I, I don't even I don't even know where these figures are. I, to be honest, they are not at my home, <laughs> so I don't know well, what happened had, to them. We had the timestamp. It was like 2011, I think. No, but 2011 were, were another uh, figures. These ones I have no idea where they were taken from because the timestamp on this one is very recent, like 2021 or something. Oh really? No, really? Oh, uh, 2012. Yeah, but the 2012 is, uh, it's not that. Well, it says uh, that was when, the, anyway, why are we arguing about it? Yeah, it says that's yeah, when the photo was matter. taken, <laughs> and, it, and it was taken with a fine Pix S5000. Uh, maybe it was taken in 2012, but, but the model's it's rolled definitely it. not painted. Well, I do, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> yeah, that, that as, as you can see, there's not even highlights, there's nothing, there's just... A green base coat, some dry brush, and some metallic paints somewhere. <laughs> and 
yeah, that's that's what I did. I mean, I was a kid and I didn't have any any intention of doing anything else. And I had, I think, I had quite a lot painted. I had at least one unit of this, one unit of barbarians, uh, one of uh, knights, and then I had some demons and stuff. So I, I was, I think, I painted quite a lot when I was a kid because I also had other armies. I think these are better than you think, actually, as well. I, 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 comparatively, of course, but like I was looking at the shields, you've actually like blocked the colors out. Like the horns have white on them. They've got gold. Like, I'm not saying yeah, they're right. excellent. I'm just saying, I think you can see that you're you're better than average. As a twelve. Yeah, I mean, I was not painting with the fingers, but I mean, yeah, you know, yes, yeah. no, I yeah, I get it. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next next photo. Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we did the proper order, didn't we? Yeah, nice. This is this is already with some highlights and stuff. It's it's extremely shiny. I think I was. <laughs> it looks like an. Uh, I was. And I think I was um, varnishing the models with mm. with the spray, so they were like extremely shiny. <laughs> I loved this model when I was a kid. I I was. I don't think I've ever seen it. Is model. it even Warhammer? Yeah, it's it's a, a very very famous one. They actually renewed the mo th this same model in the same like Pose. almost everything is the same. Just mm. HD. It's weird. It looks anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you're getting well, yeah. Uh, I know. It's getting better. I think yeah. I think this is a little bit has some highlights, even mm. if they are obviously in the wrong place. <laughs> um, and but there's I think there's more intention in it. Yeah, it's not just. It's a bit cleaner also than the other one. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I was a kid and I was just painting. Well, like you, did, you did the eyes as well. Like, I don't know if you can see clearly, yeah. but like there's eyes and stuff. I still think it's amazing that there's squads. Like, I don't know, my, I don't think I ever finished a fucking squad. As a, like, I had orcs and goblins and I had like the night goblins and the wolf riders and i've still got them in like my drawer somewhere so i think that in itself is quite impressive uh, I, 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 well, we're not looking for accolades but yeah in my life i realized that i i painted thousands and thousands of miniatures <laughs> not only because obviously i was doing my own my own hobby but then as a as an army painter because then i became an army painter uh, i i painted like many armors for for customers uh so obviously and then i became a display painter but in my life i painted thousands for sure <laughs> and i didn't even realize that i painted that much for myself yeah until i saw the pictures like just now when you went back or like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. do you do you remember these models? these for example i did i didn't even remember them these ones <laughs> Uh, when I saw them, I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, that's yeah. Then you remembered. Such a flashback. Yeah. Yeah. I think what I, lo I particularly like about this, these... Oh, okay. This is the wrong order we're meant to go to. Oh, no, we're meant to have the space breeze there. Um, like, oh, no, we're not. Is that right? Surely the space breeze we're meant to come in now. No. The, After this. The other one is the... Oh, okay. This okay. is the first conversion I did <laughs> in, when I was a kid as well. <laughs> This is all, everything is in the same era, more or less. When I was like 12, 13, uh, there was a bit of progress there, but it's just maybe one or two years top. Freehand. And this is, a, this is a spawn that I did. I converted with one of those uh, barbarians. <laughs> I was so happy with it. Like, <laughs> my God, I am <laughs> the fucking king of conversions. <laughs> is it coming out of his abdomen, like his belly? Or is it his belt? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. the chains come from his belt. Okay, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, this is what I was going to say. This photo, because like, how new does that blood red look? My favorite ever paints. And this was when you could yeah, still buy Yeah, this was 2012. Them. Yeah. Okay, real 2012. Yeah. Then that that's then between this picture and the red, the other ones, there was uh, like a long period of time where I painted some. Figures, but the level was quite 
quite close to the other ones, like pretty bad and, you know, um, very kid, kid-ish, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but you, um, you did like Blood Angels here. Yeah, yeah but then that's, that's in 2012 when I started painting and like a properly if you know what i mean like yeah. i tried to do Got better it, yeah. uh i yeah i, I try to do highlights i try to do it, it's still very amateurish like you can see how thick <laughs> and the paint and the lines are but yeah they, they were they had you know uh, an intention behind it to be i, I find it slightly but, offensive that you had black bases even back then that I had what? Black bases. Like the base. Uh, yeah, I always loved black bases. In fact, I never liked yeah, the. Even here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> because I never. I, as I never knew where I wanted to play or where I was about to play, yeah. I didn't want to stick to one color. If you know what I mean? So black means that I can fit it in every, in every single setting. Yeah, okay. More or less, obviously. <laughs> Um, uh, this one, yeah. this is my first OSL, which is basically just a, I shot with airbrush with blue. It's basically <laughs> nothing. But then you did it the, works more or less. The fades. It, it works more or less because I took the picture with a with a camera with flash, and then this this light works <laughs> obviously much better with the flash because it's creating this artificial. So, so even back then, you knew about making models look good in photos yeah i guess i was very proud of this like when i took the picture was like damn that, <laughs> that looks amazing <laughs> this is 2013 apparently 28th yes. of february if anybody is interested um i think there's there is a, a this was my quite a brave jump yeah this this was my first army um like proper army after the after not like not being a kid, let's say, yeah. um, and I had quite a few points of them. Yeah. This was my first golden demon entry. It's uh, well, I still play with them. I, still have I was going to say, I, I think I've killed those a few times. Yeah, oh. they they were. I painted them in 2012, and I entered them in 2012. Golden demon Barcelona 2012. I just got a pin, but. Uh, I was really happy. Yeah, especially for your first demon. I think. Yeah, and they are all like washes, and they're... the only proper painting that there is in these figures is the swords, swords and, and axes. The rest is more or less all uh, washes and you know highlights, like edge highlight, and not much. So it's it's just a simple painting, but. Quite effective, I think. I think there's a big contrast between like this and this, if you get what I mean. In a, in a yeah. year, like basically, or at least when the photos were taken in a year, maybe less. Like yeah, but oh no, they're not. I think it's 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 more it's easier to do this hmm. than than it seems because it's just metallic with yeah, some washes. washes. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's true. But it's and concise. the other ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's well done. It, it's like it's um, optimized. Yeah, more or less what the same I do with my army now. Mm. It's simple but optimized. It's interesting. You had a backdrop and a plinth. I suppose you 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 knew, but yeah, this is two thousand and thirteen yeah. as well, October. This is my first display figure. There was this guy that asked me to do to paint this. Uh, I had no idea. <laughs> that historical figures, fantasy figures, I had no idea what they were. Like, that if, even there was a world, I had no idea. <laughs> and he asked me to paint uh, this. Why and I actually me? loved it. Or how? Like, did, were you doing army things? Because, no, I was I was very invested in a, in a hobby store in Barcelona. And there was, well... I always I was always there. There were clients, and one of the clients of the of that store asked me because I had my army there all, all the time, and he liked it a lot. And they asked me uh, if I could paint one one Historical. figure in a horse. Yeah. And I said, well, yeah, why not? I mean, it looks <laughs> cool. Uh, they paid me. I I don't know. I think it was 
100 euros or something like that uh, or you 150 would... euros for that weren't you like this is amazing like are you kidding me yeah yeah, yeah i mean yeah. it was like i'm living life with yeah, that. Like, yeah. like, jesus free money uh, like i remember building a website for someone for 100 quid it must have taken me hours but i just couldn't believe they were dumb enough to give me 100 quid and like i look back now and it's like 100 quid yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like a website yeah yeah Fucking bonkers yeah. Actually, at that time, I was re I was having some some requests of people to paint some armies because they liked my my blood angels, mm. and I was always denying it because I didn't want to to business with know, pleasure mess my hobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Until I stopped yeah, exactly. <laughs> denying it because I Full on. <laughs> started liking money, mm. uh, which was not a lot because you know this hundred euros for this or. Then I was charging, when I started painting armies, I was charging at the start three euros per model or four euros per model. Mm -hmm. So it was, you know, absurd, absurdly cheap. Is that what I was going to say? Like, in my head, like, that's three grand for 100 models. But then how many models do you need in an army? Like, less than 100, right? Yeah, usually, yeah. People were commissioning, like, two... two Squads or something. Two units, three units, mm -hmm. maybe. Some people had full armies like i don't know like <laughs> 10 units and some vehicles but you know through time it's not like they they give you or yeah, at least not me they yeah. didn't give me everything at once yeah it wasn't it wasn't worth the time sp I, I say it's relation like but it wasn't worth the time spent to the amount that you were like the three euros no, you'd spend all, like but, a day on a model or something Probably. yeah but it was better than nothing right yeah I, I'm also interested in how you made the change from 40k to this. Obviously, commission it was forced you, but like, were you, weren't you like, well, how the fuck do I paint a horse and how do I do these blues and how do I do this? like? It's quite a different thing. Yeah, like the jump, yeah, the jump it is, and here, I actually it's here. It's quite large. I actually seeing this picture, seeing how I painted this in the same time. I don't really know how I get to the point where I could paint this horse. Like <laughs> how I I, I didn't I don't, I remember not having any fear about it. Like just mm. I just put that thing uh, together and just painted it. It was not even yeah. I don't know. I, it was not a problem for me to start this, and and I enjoyed it. And I I think it turned out much better than it should. Think for what for the level that I had. Well, that's kind know? of why. Like, how old were you here? Like, twenty five. It was in twenty twelve, uh, so I was twenty two. Still, still, hmm, not that old, but still young enough to be like love life. I love a hundred pounds or euros. Because I'm thinking, like, you know, the Jonas yeah. guy we interviewed, and he's in the Discord now, and he's seventeen. Mm -hmm. And he's got absolutely no fear. Yeah. Um, and I was trying to, yeah, I was trying to link it to see if it's the same. But yeah, I think this is good, and that's kind of why I'm asking. The photo's a little bit orange. I'd like to see it, like very orange. Yeah, <laughs> to see, but like the blues and the just the shadows on the on the thing, like it's quite impressive if, for me anyway. I think I can zoom. Yeah, I, one an anecdote that I remember of this that's very funny. That it's that I painted. The, uh, there's resin, brown resin, and on and the um, on the bucket. Yeah. Like I, I actually did like proper water, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And oh, and the guy, the guy told me why why the water is brown, the water should be blue, mm. and I was like, what? <laughs> how in the how on earth it's a bucket water. will have blue water? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and he he told me yeah yeah the water should be blue and I was like okay look I'm gonna do the water blue because you want it uh, so then I changed the water and it was fucking blue <laughs> and I hate it so much so then you changed but, it back because yeah. it doesn't oh after this photo. no 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 the picture is before yeah exactly yeah 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 bl well brownie clear makes a lot more sense it's clear right and then it's just the color of the bucket so. Yeah, or it, it can be dirty. It can yeah, have yeah. some some sand in it, like yeah, you know, horse shit. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. Um. Oh, wait. Yeah. And this is your army, isn't it? 
And this is the army that I had that uh, people was praising me for and yeah. just getting like trying to get commissions from me. It reminds because me because of, of a... this because I was. Yeah. Sorry. Go on. It reminds me of like a white dwarf, like where they have armies back in the day, and you'd be like, mm -hmm. oh, from you know, like from a staff member, or, and you'd be yeah. like, Whoa. well, they are not as as well painted. Some um, some of, some of them some of the stores weren't like the best. They were just. It, they had a feeling, like a coherent, mm. nice yeah. feeling. Why, where's this army now? I was, I sold it. <gasps> uh, yeah, many many years ago. It was funny because I, I I had no money. I was already doing commissions, and I was I I needed money, and mm. I put this thing on eBay. I I, I think it was for eight hundred. 800 euros that's straight up and, by now or... yeah yeah and denise my my wife now she was my girlfriend obviously she she was like 800 that's a lot you are not <laughs> going to sell that she, she didn't say that yeah. she thought about that which I, to be fair i thought about it too how how on earth someone can mm. can buy an army it seems for cheap now euros. when i'm thinking about it yeah and and someone bought it and i was like they bought it quickly or like I never maybe a, mo a few weeks to okay. two weeks yeah something like that and I I was I, I I don't think I had that much money ever at that point <laughs> yeah. so I was like amazed uh, <laughs> very happy now yeah. I, I regret it a little bit just for the feelings but yeah, yeah but it was also a progression I imagine in your journey that you're like you've got this monumental amount of money to you for an army that you painted mm -hmm. like yeah it seems a very well painted army from here yeah maybe if i zoom in it's not as good whatever but like it's all red and it looks good so yeah Hold yeah on. i mean it was this is my first no metallic ah, Dante, obviously in 2000 literally my first well. try yeah really? How on the get... back it works kind kind of good on the front it doesn't work at all uh, do we have the front uh we do uh I'll, yeah i'll have to jump yeah. through some um how how like why were you doing osl uh not OSL, non-metallic already if you get what i mean because because i had no fear at all <laughs> like <laughs> i just wanted i just wanted to do cool stuff like i didn't yeah. care about anyone or anything uh, I I never did like probably that's one of the of the things that made me paint so much that I never cared about anyone yeah. or any opinion or you know I did it for me for my my own you know painting journey really because yeah. I had fun huh. and obviously yeah. I was uh, the Sanguinor that okay. Darren Latham painted was mm. my, my inspiration always. So yeah. yeah. So this is the front. It does. It doesn't work as no metallic at all. <laughs> Not like. Well. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but you, it still has a feeling, and it's still quite refined. But yeah, I get what you're saying. In in a true yeah, I don't, I don't mean. Yeah, I don't mean that it's a bad painting. Well, well you know, now, if if <laughs> you compare it with what I do now, yes, it is, but. It, I don't feel like it's embarrassing or anything. It's just that the non-metallic doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Um, and this is obviously one of the tanks you sold, which is yeah. I was cool. I was very happy. I mean, I enjoyed a lot doing weathering and stuff. I was mm. uh, watching a channel that they uh, showed how to do weathering in in, in Warhammer. Yeah. And I loved it. Uh, uh, to this day, I use these techniques a lot, <laughs> and they are super fun and yeah. super quick to use. Yeah, I, I I need to actually add the photos uh, of your current army because you've got a lot of it there. How did you do the yellow and black with taping? Um, yes, I yeah. taped it uh, with an airbrush. I painted the yellow and then taped it and then painted the black. I need to learn the technique for that because everything any lines i've ever done in my life have just been hand painted like i tried to tape mm. once nah i was like it was just shit so i was like right i'll just go back to what i know how which is just 
manually painting lines. But I think on that, yeah. taping is 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 shit because you take a lot of time for uh, to to do it properly. But then the actual painting with airbrush is literally yeah. twenty seconds. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to think how long my lines took on like all those jet bikes and. Yeah, like the Viper and the Grav Tank, like I'm pretty sure it was long. Like I'd be curious. Mm. I, 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 this seems quicker, even though my lines yeah. are fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. But these are also very straightforward lines, like just thick. Yeah, yeah. But doing them by hand would be a ball ache. But yeah, is this, yeah, yeah. this is a conversion, isn't it? And this is my Mephiston conversion. Yeah. One of my first OSLs as well from the from the plasma gun. Uh, I should have compared ah. this one with the with the one I painted now. <laughs> would be... <laughs> that would be good. A good post. You need Albert to do your side by side comparison, and then yeah. he'd, he'd... I, I'll put that on on Instagram yeah. <laughs> tomorrow or something like that. Because it's ten years. If you, if you. December the 25th, this photo was taken. Obviously, it wasn't painted exactly then. But December the 25th, 2013. It's 10 years almost to the day. I mean, it's a month. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's actually very nice that it's 10, 10, 10 years. Um, same character. Yeah. And one is this one, and the other one is a Golden Demon uh, winner piece. So the moral of the story is, Paint for ten years, do commission, do army, and then you can do do what you, you go through shit yeah. painting <laughs> three euros a model. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and we have now two thousand and fourteen. It's very big yeah. Difference. This is very big difference. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm actually amazed in one year what <laughs> how how much it changed. Uh, this is a figure that I that it's very I, I love it a lot. I absolutely copied the shit out of another one so it's <laughs> it's not my it's not originally mine i just painted it the same way i found it on the internet yeah. um but it was my i think my first good mini mm. overall uh, you does, know does that tie into... and it was a gift for a dear friend so yeah the pride and progress on <clears throat> yeah. like a clear yeah progression yeah like uh, first no metallic that kind of works as well but obviously i had some reference because i was just copying so. and osl maybe not really mm, no, just colors, aren't just... They? they're just like highlights yeah yeah, yeah i yeah. mean there's a huge difference i feel from i think there seems to be more washes here and less like yeah Definitely, I was painting with washes here. Yeah, like less, because I don't know. Yeah, this is this this for me seems like a photo that I would see on Cool Mini or not, like easily ten years ago, and 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 it would be quite highly. It rated. was on Cool Mini or not? Ah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then this is the first the first face I did on a on a seventy five from Nocturna Models. Ah, okay. Is uh, is the rest of the model painted? No, no. It's just base coat. The only thing that it's done is the the face. Yeah, okay. And that but, was, you know, <laughs> it's one of the it's one of the first um, fantasy models that I started doing and large scale. That I was I see. quite, yeah, large scale. That I was proud of it. Like the face was kind of much better than I what I did yeah, yeah. a year before. And freehand in there. I guess they're not tears, or are they? It's makeup. Well, it's just makeup, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. Yeah, I agree. And that's April 2014. March, mm. April. Oh, one month after it's this fun. one. It's fine. Yeah, okay. It's funny that you can see the dates. It's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Is this large this... scale? What? What? Are they big scale? They're not. They're miniatures. No, this is Warhammer. Fucking hell! I've never. They just look massive. Yeah. Okay. No. In this. In this. At this point, I was painting armies, and mm -hmm. now I was getting quite good at it. I think. Yeah. This is something I did quite quickly, and and it's quite. Yeah, I think it's good. 
like I, I would enjoy having this as an army myself yeah. and yeah. still very badly paid <laughs> I think <laughs> do, you, do you ever think if you could go back you'd charge more and be like why are you fleecing me or you think no I mean part of the I journey? think it I thought yeah it's part of the journey it turned out well I think and yeah. it, it got me a lot of commissions that, that maybe I, I wouldn't have if, yeah. if it was more expensive yeah I think eating shit on a on a journey on any journey yeah, it's quite important. Really helps. <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah. Well, I need to eat more shit. I think. Two June two thousand and fourteen. This is. This is my first bust. First bust ever. For yourself. Yeah, I painted it after my my first and only workshop with Jesus Martin from Nocturna Models. Mm. And he has a very desaturated brownish palette, yeah. so that's why it's all brown. Yeah. But yeah, I painted it. I think in in one day or or two days stops. Two days, I think. So you started and back then. How you mean to go on in a way? Quick. Yeah, quick, fun. Mm. Like I was proud of it, yeah. and you know. I still think it's. I I still think yeah. Other than the the. the that murkiness that this, this the palette it still works well it's not shit at all and it's the first yeah well, do you know what i mean it, it's yeah it's a small bust so it's smaller than it seems okay because i think this that one and this and this they all have a really similar feeling to me it might be that like yeah. the palette or the way you're painting but yeah it just feels like internet like this feels like when the hobby was taking off for me at least yeah if you know, yeah, like, and, and it's hard to believe that was only nine years ago. Obviously, mm. it just yeah shows nine years is a lot, but yeah, fuck me. Um, is that Pedro Fernandez sculpting it? Yes, yes. It's yeah, it's undeniable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I didn't know. I like, I wasn't asking and leading you. I like, I, 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 I was like, that definitely is, but I don't know. Yeah, that's quite impressive. Mm. Okay, and now we are in two thousand fifteen. Yeah, this was the one of the last models I painted before coming to England. Yeah. I think the face is it pretty was, good, and the wolf, and the armor, and the N M. Yeah, I still have it. Yeah. I still have it in my cabinet, and it's actually a model that I think it it broke kind of my my journey. Like it, I was going lineal, you know, I, I was <laughs> going into this trying to detail clean as much um, as much refinement as I could but I I mean I think this is quite good overall like yeah. refinement wise and I, I went to a contest in Spain and I entered this and I got nothing <laughs> and I was like why if this is good because people were saying this is very good yeah. and I, I asked my I, my reference at that point was Mark Masklans. I asked him why, if this is so good, why he didn't get anything. And there was another one that was another Abaddon that won, I don't know if bronze or silver. I another um, Horus. And he told me that the idea, that the refinement was was okay, but the idea was simple and that there was nothing more to it just than a black and a gold mm. and I think I took that quite seriously and from that point I tried to give some meaning to to everything I painted mm. like some some extra some background some attitude something I don't know yeah so I think that's a, an important moment it, you're basically saying when you when you fall flat on your ass completely you learn more than when you don't and it just happened Absolutely. that this story was like apt because I yeah I think I think maybe Lionel went through the same thing last year <clears throat> where he just had a like a normal thing I think that was your message like yeah put some narrative in it it's interesting though because um, at Monty there was another Abaddon actually painted by one of the Mexicans and um, that one bronze masters uh, mm -hmm. and it's weird because it's very similar to this, like uncannily similar. It's almost like he saw the photo and was like, 
that's how I want it to look, which I, yeah, I don't think is possible, but I don't know if like they were harsher back then or Monty was too lenient or, or whatever, but, um, uh, it would be funny to enter this into a, into a don't tell anyone it's nowadays. you, like get me to do it or something. And yeah. just just see how it does. If I got, if I got something, <laughs> I would be <laughs> probably mad. I don't know. <laughs> well, also it would be good that you got fucked up back then because then it spurred you on and it completely changed your style, which I guess we'll see yeah. when we jump through and see from this point on how you painted to see if you did start adding stories in. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's an interesting one. Yeah, I think. Um, well, this I think this was the first seventy-five millimeters that I that I finished. It's pretty good. Uh, well, so the 2000. first seventy-five millimeters, yeah. Ju July two thousand fifteen. So, okay. just at least in fo in in photos, uh, March July. Like yeah, four I, months, I guess. I think I think I painted them at the same time, more or less. So there was no real difference uh, on them. Yeah, uh, everyone. With, with this, this is one of those figures where you do something that everyone loves, and it took like five minutes, like the <laughs> the thighs, yeah. you know, the broken yeah, yeah, thighs, yeah. and everyone like, oh, this is so amazing, and everybody, <laughs> yeah, it's just like, two lines you know, <laughs> on top of them. <laughs> they, yeah, super yeah. easy. First thing I noticed was the fists, and then the tits, the face, and then yeah, it was like the <laughs> the laddered thing. That is good, uh, and it probably it might have been the second thing I mentioned. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Classic. Yep. Uh, yeah. So yeah, th this it's, was actually my first 75 that I finished up. I think there's a huge difference between even this, which is June 2014 to this. It's like one year again. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's quite a big, there's yeah. a big jump from, from, yeah, these guys. Well, here, which was only 2000 and, oh, let me actually get this. I think I did the dates wrong earlier. Yeah, it's like, Two years, maybe? Two years, yeah. 2013, December to July 2015. And you're pumping out these so One year and a half. Yeah, it's it's. you must have been painting non-fucking-stop. Yeah, yeah, I painted hundreds, <laughs> hundreds of stuff. Like, yeah, it would be... We, we could be here for two days reviewing <laughs> reviewing all my, my pictures because there's millions. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's good in a way to see... The, the the jump so yeah september 2015 so 15 was a big yeah, year this it is, seems. yeah it was when i moved to england um mm. and i started painting a lot a, a lot more even because i had to mm. eat and because before that i was eating at i, I was living <laughs> at my parents so <laughs> i didn't Forced. have to win yeah. to earn my money this I, I painted a lot of a lot of infinity uh and I think it made me, it made me precise and and more technical because they are so small and so detailed. Yeah. Yeah, it's I weird to see so much N and M. Hundreds of them on fucking like, is this a squad, like an army painted? Yeah. And you're doing this. Yeah. This yeah. Is commission, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I think these were twenty five euros a model, okay. more or less. I was going to make a joke and say five, but yeah, okay. It's still. No, <laughs> quite cheap. Very cheap, extremely yeah. cheap. Yeah. For the amount of like effort, yeah, like <laughs> fair. So this is December. I think this now. I think this is the first mini, the my first properly painted mini. What what I consider. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this was the. Um, this is the first properly painted mini I think that I had. Uh, it was heavily inspired by um, the box art. I think it was Jose Palomares' box art. And you know, I th I think it's quite a jump yeah. between what I, I was think, doing and this. I think so, especially here. Oh, wow, okay. Like I'd, I'd say, this is a, there's a lot more, a lot, lot more going on, a lot more saturation. And a lot more. Well, the huge amounts of N and M and OSL and everything really, right? It's got a bit of everything almost. Yeah, yeah. I I put a lot of effort into it, yeah. like a lot. 
And it worked. It, I was. Right? I pushed. 2015. Yeah, I pushed myself uh, as much as I could. But you're already a commissioned painter, and you were doing this just for yourself as well. Well, I was painting armies at that point. I was not mm. painting um, figures for collectors or anything. Everything I had was for myself. So what? It, like other you... than the, the armies. Yeah, I get you. All the stuff we've seen is yeah for yourself. Um, yeah. Why? Why did you want to like push yourself? Like, was it just bored of all the armies? Because I. L no, because I loved these figures since forever. I loved all the Marvel the Marvel figures from Night Models. Mm. And this in particular, I loved. And I don't know, I loved it so much that I just wanted to emulate it or, you know, yeah. give I, it my, my go. I do know very well the emulation feeling, indeed. The with Elder was where I was going. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I've seen it now for, for quite a few times and I still think it's amazing, like, to go from, as you say, like a jump, isn't it, when you when you... Like, we ha I hadn't seen these, yeah. I hadn't seen any of these before actually. So it was more just like this could still thinking hold up that now. there's there's a few months or mm. or maybe even weeks of difference between these and the other ones that you just showed. Yeah, this is September. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It it it, I, it kind of shows you and myself as well how how much of a difference your Im involvement the figure we are, that you are <laughs> painting does yeah. like if you get involved really involved you can do amazing amazing things like i was this is was not my level like <laughs> I, I, averagely if this is my 10 i was not averagely doing a 10 i was averagely yeah. doing a seven or a six yeah you know I, I i like it's trying it's almost like trying to capture genie in a bottle kind of vibe like but it's inside you as in it's there but it takes something to bring it out you know yeah like yeah. lightning striking or whatever i don't know what the saying is but yeah like yeah i hope that i get that oh why are we back here oh okay okay right this should work now there they go yeah it's a completely different mood as well from what you've been doing yeah this this is one one of the first well this is my third 75 actually or third or fourth and I was trying to do a very uh, an ambient, very dark and cold. And in the face, you can see half of the face. It's a skull. And this is this is just with the painting, uh, with the with the shadow. I kind of painted the whole eye socket in black, and then just highlighted here to to let you know the, that skull it... and. <laughs> I was very proud of this. No one noticed, <laughs> but but I was really proud of, of this uh, genius moment. And I think this was one of the first times I tried to do something with the story, and other than Colossus, which was more of a Stories. technical exercise. But yeah, yeah, the story's kind of there already. I think um, what it reminds me of is so this is 2016. Oh, I don't know if it reminds me. What it, what it shows me though is like. If I sat down to try and paint, so is that? Oh shit! Hold on. <laughs> How far have I gone? I've gone too far. Right, I'm gonna look. <laughs> like, oh, wrong photo as well. Sorry. It shows me. This is a level I couldn't recreate at the moment, basically, especially not naturally. That you could, or that you could not. I don't think I could. Um, hmm. uh, like, sure, if you put this in front of me, I could maybe get close to it. Like emulating mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm talking about like coming up naturally with, with it like as Lionel was in his journey yeah. now where he's doing stuff himself right uh, yeah yeah and I think that shows me it makes sense because this was only now seven years ago four plus three yeah uh, April 2016 so. yeah. uh, this is the first the first thing the first figure I, I sold yeah I got you the large one yeah not, not army yeah like basically I'm saying it's like I can see it's not your where you're at now. I can see the difference, mm -hmm. but this is something I'd expect to see high level painters doing. Maybe some small things yeah. different, just because seven years has changed what people do now. But yeah. it's a good level, basically. Um, yeah, I mean, this was already a good level. Somehow, yeah, this I think is a in, in a very short time, I I, I did a, a huge push. 
Yeah. I don't maybe because of the pressure I had. Yeah. And this is one of the next models I painted. Yeah, because this uh, is... thanks to thanks to the um, thanks to that barbarian, the that collector commissioned me a lot the following years, yeah, and this was one of them of the ones that I painted. This looks him. like a box art. This wasn't a box art then. No, this was just a yeah. collector piece. I mean, the jump again is quite extreme <laughs> to go. And this was August 2017, so it's like uh, April. What is it? It's like 15 months of you painting box or yeah. commissions. and. Yeah, I was painting basically for him, uh, ma mainly for, for this guy. I painted a lot of commissions. He He's probably my my biggest um, my biggest commissioner. Maybe yeah. uh, Commission I think only. I have it. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, it's like seventeen commissions he did, yeah. of high level, like th things like that, you know. Yeah. And in a in a quite a short period of time. Yeah. Okay. So I I I really owe him, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the a lot, almost. like everything yeah. almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because this, <clears throat> so the, this is six years ago now, basically, but this is yeah. still a model that is very good, I think. Like you might be seeing things that you don't love, but yeah, it's still like yeah, yeah, of course, no, no, but I can recognize that it's not a poorly painted model. Yeah, yeah, I think. Um, and it's... seeing seeing the progress in this this in so very few years, yeah. I, I didn't even know that it was my that my progress was that quick. I, yeah. I knew it more or less, but seeing it in pictures is like wow. Well, this is. If you do it from this, uh, I had to remove them because of OBS crap. But if you go from the Pedro Fernandez model, which was 2014, to this 2017, yeah. like you wouldn't yeah. believe that you'd be able to get. I've I've spent five years now not painting, so if you think, <laughs> like if you think what you could do, I, it's, it's it's not a linear thing anyway. My my three years is going to be different for your three years. So it's, yeah. it's, not, it's not that you can compare them, but still, when you when you actually put it in that level of like, it's it's funny to see it coming across. Like you know, this is October twenty seventeen. Yeah, I think here it's it's one of another one of of the commissions of this guy. Yeah. Uh, I think here the jumps are smaller. Yeah, but Subtly obviously every there, time I, I at least I I. I I can see things that I was doing better, and yeah. you know, there's more ambient, mm. there's there's more complexity on the pieces. Yeah, subtle nuances, I think, which actually, in a way, yeah. set it apart. Though I feel like if you get yeah, yeah definitely, you, I think like, yeah, even so even if sell, people yeah. cannot point things out, like what what does this what's <laughs> better in this one than the other one? Yeah, uh, I think. You can well, in this particular case, a huge tiger usually helps um, <laughs> say that it's better. But yeah, I yeah. think painting-wise, this one is better. Yeah, I think there's more subtleties here. Some rim lighting, some yeah. like OSLs, like yeah, complex N and M's. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I undid it again. Uh, no, no one can complain. They're getting a thing for free. So, oh, November 2021. So we've skipped yeah, four yeah. years. Well, I mean, if, if we are going to to go through my paint, like, <laughs> I, I think I differentiated my Jumps. my journey where I was improving and, and you know, um, really changing from from army painting to, to display painting. Yeah. And here, obviously, I'm already full on display painting already in yeah. in the saber tooth and all this so now it's just a few years forward and uh, this is a figure for myself that i did a few a couple of years ago yeah and it's mad you know oh, had... like yeah it's pretty mad it's quite involved <laughs> oh. osls and yeah. ambient and non-metallic you know we've well, got non-metallic osl compare. combined well usually i have it because I they weren't here. You know, I put, 
Ah, fuck, they were. I'll take it back. They weren't so prominent. They weren't a fucking engine, I guess, is a better way of saying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a chrome, yeah. Yeah, of it's not just a, yeah, I, I just an axe that I can't do. But yeah, it's not... Well, when you're comparing an engine, you can say just an axe, I feel. I feel like it's okay to say that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, <laughs> yeah, 2000... <laughs> what is this? November 2021, okay. And then you've obviously got yeah. your boy... And this is one of the last paintings that I did, on yeah. a metallic, um, you know, to compare with uh, with Dante. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ten years. My actually. first time metallic. Yeah. Yeah, two years, yeah. Ten years. <laughs> well. Um, it's warm in here, okay? It's warm and it's dark. I don't normally just have this little light on. I've got that light on, all these, these LED lights, so I'm allowed to yawn. Because yeah, of it's course. really comfortable. And also... Yeah, you, you've been hearing me talk about my shit for an hour. <laughs> well, that's been relatively entertaining. I think it's also like, I am tired. And although that said, actually, I went to sleep at 10.30 yesterday and I woke up at like half seven. And I can't remember the last time mm. I actually like, I think I nearly maybe slept all the way through. I, I do remember slapping my own face at one point. And I, but I, I don't think it was a mosquito. I think something like a fly just landed on me. Because I didn't hear the buzz. Anyway, ten years. I wouldn't have thought. Actually, it's it's. I've I've spent five years doing nothing, but I wouldn't have thought that you could get, as you say, from that Mephiston to here in just ten years. Um, it's a weird one. Yeah. It's like, how can you do it? Yeah, and then the well, <laughs> painting a lot, and I think actually. If you if you see all this progress, I think one of the things that made me progress this quickly was not painting display, was painting twenty eight mm. and a lot of twenty eights, because I I painted hundreds and hundreds of them, and then when I started painting seventy fives, very quickly I was already on that um, proper painting um, level, if yeah. you know what I yeah. mean. Yeah, the, just the because I had all this knowledge it? and yeah, but I was not applying it on the twenty eights. So uh, I think good. I just had because I had the technique, I had the skill mm. to 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 do stuff. But then when I went to to larger scales, I had the skill to do what was in my head. Mm. But with twenty eights, my head was empty. <laughs> my head was just. It's highlight a bit of no metallic and you know easy stuff but when i went to to larger scales the the difference was that my head was full of ideas full of things that i wanted to do if you know what i mean it was freeing in a way like you were yeah, like yeah, finally yeah. i can because i was i was trying to look at the the infinity i would say is the closest to this kind of style just because of the the way the art you know games workshops not encouraging OSL or NNM, really, they're much more edge highlight, basically. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I think, but yeah, still, I suppose you weren't doing that anyway. Yes. And then that's finally led and then, to the end of the yeah, journey. Yeah, that's. What are we talking? Yeah, exactly. That's that's one side. Like now, my journey is split in two. I guess the hobby side and the and the. Um, work side yeah. this is work side because i i play, paint display for a living so and this was a commission and then this one the my army this is pleasure is what i use for playing it's very extremely quick paint job quite effective uh very deadly because you know it and uh, it is weird actually to see it in a photo like it's from from only knowing it on the tabletop to seeing it in a photo with like lighting it's quite funny to see it i just think like so. i use a lot of the things that i that i learned in my army painting years and i think that's why i i know how to because one of these squads it can take me one hour and a half or two hours something <laughs> it's like that fucking quick, isn't it? and you know i i think most of it is thanks to understanding what makes a figure pop on the tabletop and yeah. i owe a lot to my army painting <laughs> years i guess 
I uh, that's that's everything I have more or less. Uh, everything that dies every week because you're shit. Um, I th- I think. Oh wait, can it zoom in far enough? Probably not. Uh, we should have had a photo. Oh, okay, that's good enough actually. Um, yeah, I think that this this concept of like painting this squad or 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 you know something in in a day. I do think it's quite powerful. Like, I'd like to learn those for my own armies, because then you have a like, no joke. Whenever we play in Dark Sphere, there's like probably literally six, seven people that will come up or make a remark to their mate or something and, and say, yeah. "Ooh," and then come up to you. Some people have the balls to be like, "How do you do it?" Other people just talk to you about mm. like, and then they want the formula and the recipe and stuff. So that's not what my point was really. But my point was mostly to be able to paint an army fast is is good <laughs> because yeah, it's what that that's what I was uh, saying at the start of the of the video that uh, I was trying to improve so much that I didn't have any any army painted because I didn't want to. Yeah. paint worse than my actual level because I, I was afraid that people thought that was my level if you know what <laughs> I mean yeah if I painted worse than I than, yeah. like a war game painting like yeah and at, at that point at some point I just I stopped caring of what people <laughs> thought of my army and I just wanted to have an army because yeah. how am I not having an army <laughs> being like I painted armies for I don't know dozens of people <laughs> I painted commissions for hundreds of people. Yeah. Why I don't have an army? Uh, it, it was something that it bothered me so much. Wasn't the grey like when we were just playing with grey a huge motivator? Like, I think the the click, the last click, was when I saw one of uh, Tony's Tony CHK yeah. uh, armies for himself. Or I don't know if no, I think it was a commission. And I thought, this, this is amazing. I would pay. I would gladly pay for this. Yeah. If I had the money, obviously I don't. <laughs> uh, but then I thought, why don't I do it if I am? I, if I know how to do it, obviously not at his level because he's, he's a proper army painter. Yeah. I'm, I'm just painting like war game um, level. But I, I, I thought I could design um, a process that let me. Quick. Have a nice army without yeah. investing that much time. Yeah. So that was, yeah, the moment I said, yeah, that's that's enough. <laughs> I'm not gonna stand Sing here it. with a grey army anymore. Yeah, well, I'm interested in. Oh, it's, it, it is interesting that you've got the Sangalo, this guy, uh, the guy in the top middle, because mm-hmm. he's painted to a really high standard. Um, yeah. So it is interesting from that capacity, like. But it makes sense because then you can still geek out and, and kind of have fun and do these characters like yeah I mean, yeah of course my my characters will always be yeah. um detailed because i enjoy it yeah going back to the love um right. Go fuck. I, bought, <laughs> that, <laughs> ah, <okay. laughs> I was like i can't have me although you'll have like the start of the yawn and then it will just like click to but yeah well that is the journey I see, I see. and it means that we can now do fast as a race car. Um, I don't know. So I suppose we should sum up, but we're not going to because we're going to do. Well, are we? Uh, we can do, and then we can do yeah, fast as a race car at the end. Um, yeah. So future forays. What's what's the plan with the journey? What what like you've got two clear. You've got work and you've got hobby. Like which which do you feel is actually your in in our well, mini matters trend at, sense of of the journey, yeah. Obviously, at, at the moment, my my journey is fully on the hobby side. Obviously, the the work side is already covered because I have to pay rent. But the the journey, the hobby side, needs some push, needs some motivation and some reason mm. and motive, and that's what mini matters does, right? It, since since we started the podcast and obviously playing and stuff but the podcast i painted a couple of units because it pushed me uh, to show stuff every week to do something and that's what that's what i want from the podcast right to to make my army grow to maybe 
get another army at some point. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I just want to paint my Warhammer. I so I love Warhammer, and I I don't want to forget that. Yeah, I want another army. I want to finish all my stuff. I'm quite anyway. Uh, Save that for my journey. Um, I relate. I relate indeed. Uh, we didn't do the armor go and all that kind of shit, but that is fine. Uh, I, I see in the progress is quite cool. I think you could easily do that. Now you've got the timestamps, you could you could literally just put the date on the photo and go through, if you get what I mean, like some sort mm. of... Uh, well, actually, no, because then no one would watch this video. Um, uh, 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 I will do it then on Instagram so people can come back to the video and see. Yeah, and then they'll be like, hang on, I just saw all the photos i don't need to see the video um also i kept my headphones on for this that's weird i never do that um okay so where are we we are in france i don't know how loud this will be apologies if this is loud for everyone um father michael it's loud for me so did that hurt your ears it's fine for me okay it's not fine for me. It's fucking loud. So the Fast the Race Car, for anybody who doesn't know, is a segment in our podcast where we ask... Uh, I was going to say the contestant. I like that idea. Uh, we ask each other Fast the Race Car questions, which basically means you ask them as fast as you humanly can, as if you were in a race car, and you don't dwell. Mm-hmm. Uh, but these Fast the Race Cars... So normally we try not to do the Fast the Race Cars the same as twice. So each of us, we, like, normally... Here... They're all the same. Mm-hmm. But you only have two minutes to answer. So okay. let us go into the clock, which is on the other side of the screen. And uh, scroll all the way down to two minutes. Okay, two, one. Okay. When did you first start painting miniatures? Uh, when I was 10 years old, more or less. Gladly, huh? Uh, what was your very first model? I have no idea. Mm-hmm. Good answer. How has your painting style evolved over time? I don't see I have a painting style. Hmm. Yep, faster race car. What's the biggest challenge you've ever come in your hobby journey? Uh, keeping the motivation up. Can you name a breakthrough moment in developing your skills? Uh, I was too focused on saturation and color. Uh, and I understood that that's not a good thing per se. It's just a thing, just a quality. It can be bad or good. Hang on, and that freed me. I want to talk so bad. What's one technique that you used, uh, that you used to struggle with but now you love? Um, glazing, I guess. I never was a fan. I'm not a fan now, but I can. I use it maybe sometimes. Uh, trick because it said now you love but uh, who has been your biggest influence or inspiration in the hobby uh, well in, in painting overall I think Mark Musclans was the, the biggest uh, how do you approach a new project planning or improvising I like to plan a lot mm-hmm. I think it's mandatory <laughs> uh, what's your longest ever spent on a single model three weeks I think uh, what's your, have you ever experienced hobby burnout? I, I live in it. <laughs> How do you overcome it? I don't. What's the most significant lesson you've learned in your hobby time? Do you already have that? Uh, write the the waves of hype. They are not not many, and you have to quiz them. A fleeting. Uh, which project pushed you out of your comfort zone? Um, this the last the Ascaion, the non metallic gold guy pushed me quite a lot in a good way. And though. I had very fresh it in my mind <laughs> <laughs> the struggle. All right, there we go. We're done. That is the faster race car. Possibly, what I might do is edit this faster race car at the beginning of the show because actually it gives you quite good, nice, it sets the tone. If I don't edit this, it will be like every other time I've ever said in my life that I will edit and i don't so there's a chance i won't like thinking about it now i'm like actually i could just upload this whole thing directly to youtube yeah i would i would just leave it like that um, <laughs> it'd be a lot easier next time for people we would do faster race car at the start and then we would do it um so that is indeed your journey thank you very much Arnau. 
Thank you for listening to all my shit. <laughs> well, actually, it's quite cool to see that you, um, you've you always been good, basically. <laughs> you, you think? Well, like, of course, when you were fucking 11, yes. The, uh, uh, like, well. Uh, Albert at 14 was, was doing pretty good stuff, though. So, uh, it, in an interesting way, it shows the difference is... I, I like I hadn't even thought about this, but I would actually quite like to see Albert's journey, um, mm-hmm. to see the the differences in 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 just technique, approach, everything like that. Like, I think I think these videos yeah. are actually a really good way to meet artists to 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 learn about them. If you get what I mean, I, re- I realize yeah. that from now, like Absolutely. going through, and it w- it would like it would be cool to see everyone's because. It's quite a personal thing, I think, doing it this way. It's very personal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I re- I also realise uh, that it's like, it's it's not at all what I planned for these videos. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I had in my head it was the journeys that we have for Mini Matters. So it's like at the moment I want to learn how to do this. Is, it's not a real journey, but skin, and that person's been doing skin for three months or whatever. So then we dive into that. But now I'm like actually. This is like, this, what we've done would be really interesting with other artists. Like to, to, mm. to see Marks, to see even Alfonso's, Albert's, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Roman, like it, it, all of them, David, like it would be quite cool. But anyway. We can try to get, to get them as well as many as possible. Yeah. I'll just edit the template to have more heads. Um, unless you don't come on it, which also means I don't have to make a new template. Uh, you could do Spanish version. Anyway, guys, thank you uh, for joining, and uh, we will thank see. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Well, yeah, it's different when it's our own podcast, but yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, well. Oh well, that's not true. This is the Hopper Show, so you are a guest. Ah, right, right. Well, we, we are we are in the love child of uh, Hopper <laughs> and Mini Matters podcast, so it's the best place to be. But yeah, for, for going forward. Um, for for anybody who's watching from the discord uh don't feel pressure to think that this is a template as i said at the beginning it's different for everyone uh and i'm looking forward to doing mine so hopefully i'll do mine next where not now because like baffling i meant waffling yeah. see you later guys <laughs> thanks for joining in see you later bye